Hi, in this tutorial I would like to talk about uh, Amazon Web Services, Identity and Access Management User. Uh, so services in AWS uh, require that you provide credentials when you access them. This is so that the service can determine whether you have permission to access the resources owned by that service. So the console requires your password, you can create access keys for your AWS account to access the AWS uh, command line or application programming interface. Uh, however, we do not recommend it that you access AWS by using credential uh, for your AWS account or let's say your root account. So instead, we recommend that you uh, create the AWS Identity and Access Management uh, account uh, and you are going to give this account uh, a uh, temporary administrative permission so that you can then access AWS uh, resources. Here we see in this figure uh, the user uh, outside the organization, and uh, this is the Terraform tool uh, that the user are going to use and we are going to deploy uh, or we are going to use AWS uh, resources using Terraform uh, configuration file. So what we have to do is that we are going to, once we create or we generate an um, identity and access management user account from the AWS console we are going to add the key informations and credentials for that account to our Terraform configuration files basically the main .tf uh, variables .tf and we are going to make a, a file called Terraform tvars tfvars and uh, you see the user terraform the user having the account here with um, with administrative permission and here you are accessing uh, your AWS account and using the required resources here once you are in your AWS uh, management console click on the find service so let's search IAM and here we see the uh, the identity and access management uh, window uh, right from the left side you click on users and then from the top you see the blue add user and let's uh, name the IAM user So I called, uh, I named my user here, and uh, here underneath uh, says select AWS uh, access type. Uh, we are going to need uh, access key ID and secret uh, access key uh, that we are going to use or we are going to add to our configuration files uh, using Terraform. These two keys. Uh, these two key, uh, this uh, key and ID that we are going to use to access AWS uh, resources from Terraform. So select pragmatic access, click next permissions. So in the permission part, we are going to give our IAM user uh, the administrative uh, uh, access. Uh, so administrator access, click on filter. So and then and then you click on next and if you this is optional tags uh, click on next and here is the user details uh, the name the access type uh, the permission and we have administrator access here click on create user and as you see here um, so it says success uh, you successfully created the user shown below uh, the username i have the access key id and the secret uh, 
access key. So once uh, you are here, uh, make sure to download the uh, .csv file. Uh, this uh, uh, will contain the information and like access key ID, secret key, uh, the same thing you see below, and the username. Make sure to save this uh, file somewhere safe. And uh, that's it for this step. Uh, we basically uh, created our IAM user, uh, and then we are going to use this user to access the AWS resources using tools such as Terraform. Once you are done or you don't want this user to be active uh, for now, you can uh, click on users and here you have option also to delete the user or you just basically uh, click on the username, go to security credentials, uh, scroll down and you see here the status of our user so make active or you simply deactivate the user now that we have uh, our uh, IAM user in the region uh, also make sure to have uh, a key uh, for the uh, open SSH or using uh, SSH uh, uh, by using party so make sure to have key in your region uh, we're gonna add this uh, ssh uh, key uh, in our terraform configuration files so if you don't have one go to key pair from the ec2 and just uh, click on create key pair and name the key and the format select bem format and just click on create key pair and save this uh, key so now that we created the, the IAM user and we have uh, generated the key pair in our region here we have the configuration files for Terraform this is infrastructure as a code so basically you're writing down code then you deploy to the provider and in our case it's AWS um, so basically uh, uh, Terraform using modules, uh, we have main.tf file, we have a module called variables.tf and also terraform.tf bars. Uh, main.tf uh, contain the, the main set of configuration for your module and you can organize it the way you it makes sense to you for your project for your deployment uh, we have also a file uh, called variables.tf so it contains the variable definition for your module also we do have uh, terraform.tf bars uh, we are going to store our uh, access key secret key and the ssh path uh, private key in this uh, configuration module um, um, just to note that this file contains such sensitive information and it could push into the public if you are using uh, uh, websites such as github so usually with terraform we use uh, .git ignore uh, .git ignore file prevent terraform.tf file file var file from getting committed into a git repo here i'm using um, um, microsoft uh, visual code editor um, it's uh, pretty good and i will leave in the description uh, the link to download the, the application on your windows um, so here we have the main.tf uh, says here specify the provider and access uh, IAM details of provider so here we have the provider uh, name AWS uh, Amazon Web Services um, then here underneath we have variable so the region is uh, as you see dollar sign open a bracket and then var dot AWS underscore region 
so var means you go back to the uh, variable dot tf so once you see var it's in the variable and it's not a hard-coded uh, uh, code uh, so variables are the values in the variables and hard-coded uh, values you will see it in the main uh, so once you see var go to your vars.tf and as you see uh, variables aws uh, underscore region uh, the description region for the virtual uh, private cloud and that's the where is our region it's california united states um, we also have in our main um, the access key and the secret key also it's defined as equal var dot aws underscore access underscore key var aws uh, underscore secret underscore key once you see var uh, also go back to your variable file and as you see here it's defined as awx access key this is the name of the variable and we see it here and this is also the second name we see it here um, and we have our standalone uh, module which is save or say we are saving our uh, sensitive information here as the access and secret key uh, so this is the access key this is secret key these are the keys that we just downloaded when we created the IAM user so when, once you create the IAM user and you download the file that contains this information open the file and copy and just basically replace uh, this information with your um, access key and here with your secret key so let's uh, assume that mine is um, one, two, three, four, and this is my access key. So here is basically my keys, my key values. Uh, if we track, uh, trace back this, uh, we see the variable name here. We see the value here, and in the main, it just asks for the provider AWS and the access key to access. Uh, this will allow us basically to log in as IAM identity and access management uh, user. Uh, so we are logging to our AWS and here we have the region uh, defined in the variables.tf uh, as California US West 1 and uh, here is the credential for our user. Uh, and these can be valued in the terraform.tf bars also we do have um, uh, the SSH in case we do have EC2 instance so we can provide this I will later discuss this um, so the key uh, the key name that you generated and also the key paths uh, so dot them so these are basically uh, what we are looking for uh, as uh, configuration information to use AWS a provider and log in to your uh, and use AWS resources as an uh, identity and access management uh, user and uh, that should be it for this tutorial uh, i hope you enjoyed it i will continue uh, talking about uh, deploying uh, ec2 using infrastructure as code or terraform also uh, creating a security group and also um, having things like load balancer um, thank you for watching and talk to you later bye